That rich frequency, rich structure that we generate in speech, when we sing, when we drum, when we play music, that must have an impact. What exactly, how it works, and to what degree, and all that, we don't know yet. Um, my, my group actually just started collaborating with music therapists, because that has been around for a long time. And when you talk to parents, for example, of children with, uh, you know, uh, with, with autism, uh, you will hear that those kind of, for example, eurythmics, which are focused on the rhythmic structure in music and generate these rhythmic patterns, really seem to help those patients. So there are a lot of open questions, and I personally, that's just my speculation, I think there's something there. And hopefully the kind of principles that we use to study this kind of interaction between external and internal oscillators, we can translate this and get answers uh, at, with using the scientific method in those domains too. So my intuition is yes, scientific answers down the road for you.